everybody. Welcome to the Story Lab. This week we're talking about peace and the best way to give it a chance. I'm ready for a piece of this pie. Mm. Hey, I'm Carter. And I'm Zeke. We're talking about peace which is proving you care more about each other than winning an argument. And you can also show you care about your friends by ordering pizza. Help yourself. What is this? Anchovies. They're great. You can't put fish on pizza. They've got a nice zing. Yeah, in my intestines. Just pick them off. You can't get rid of the essence of fish all in the cheese. You're overreacting. And you are just plain wrong. Fine. Let's have this out. Whoa, what are you suggesting? Let's do battle. Like, you and me? What? No, I'm not fighting you. Our bots are going to battle. You say that like we have bots. We will, after we build them. What? Build a bot. I love it. Let's make it. So, where do we start with our better BattleBot build? Start by getting your grown-up to help. Step one, make legs for your bot by hot gluing three markers on the inside of your cup. Try to get them somewhat level. And done. Snazzy. Step two. Next, attach a battery pack to your motor by wrapping the wires around these motor leads. Red to red and black to black. Our power up. Just keep on wrapping. And then once you wrap it tight, get a piece of electric tape and wrap it over the wires to close it off. And that's how you do it. Step three, glue the motor to the battery pack and then the battery pack to the top of the cup. They will each be slightly off center. Step four is the tricky part. You need to make the motor side heavier so your bot is off balance, which will cause it to move more. One way is to attach a clothespin to the motor. Are we ready? You're forgetting the most important part. Personality. Botanality. Are you ready? I'm ready. It's time for the bitter but battles. Countdown, please. Three, two, one, go. Oh, they're shining! They're yeah, shining! Yeah, oh, they're dry! Yeah, 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 He's right there behind you. Come on, get your arm out. Get your arm out. Always Don't play, Tubby. Come on. Yes, yes. Come on. Yes. No. No. Yes, he's on the edge. Tubby, come through. Get out of there. Tubby. Oh, he's taunting. Listen to my voice, Tubby. Come this way, Tubby. Listen to me. Oh, you're just dancing in front of him. Come on, get out of there. So, 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 I'm that move. So, I'm that move, Tubby. Pick up your family. Whew. Well, my bot clearly won. Debatable. Speaking of which, what were we even fighting about? And speaking of fighting, it's time for... The Story Before the Story. Today, we're in the Book of Romans, a letter written by the Apostle Paul to the believers in Rome. When he was younger, Paul arrested Jesus' followers and put them in jail. But then Paul met Jesus, and everything changed. 
In time, Paul began to travel and teach about Jesus, starting new churches everywhere he went. Even though Paul hadn't been to Rome yet, he knew a strong group of believers had formed there. So, Paul wrote a letter to encourage the Romans and tell them he hoped to visit soon. Which is where our story starts. Take it away. Hey everyone, I'm Brian. The letter that Paul wrote to the Romans does an amazing job of sharing what it truly looks like to follow Jesus. Now, Paul hadn't even visited Rome yet, but he knew the church there included both Jewish and non-Jewish believers, and that there might be uh, some tension between the two groups. So, Paul wrote this. If possible, live in peace with everyone. Do that as much as you can. Okay, let's be real. For now, we live in a broken world. There's not a lot of peace anywhere. On the news, on the playground, maybe even in your own family. Stop! But before we can make peace, we have to know what it is. Now, lots of people think peace is anytime two people or groups are not actively fighting each other. Your father smelt of elderberries. Oh, whatever. We also use peace to mean just a moment of calm. And I bet you've heard your grown up plead, can I get some peace and quiet, please? But true peace, the kind Paul wrote about, means a lot more than just no fighting. Real peace means choosing to listen to the person or people on the other side. It means showing you care more about someone than about winning an argument with them. And Paul said that we should live in peace with everyone. You know who that leaves out? Nobody. Your goal is to live in peace with your little sister, mm -hmm. with the kid in your class who thinks he's always right, uh, with the coach who kept you on the sidelines nearly the whole game. That's a tall order, I know. And Paul knew it because he added this. Live in peace as much as you can. Have you ever tried to make somebody else do what you want them to do? <laughs> yeah. Good luck with that. You can't control what others do, but you can control you. When somebody says or does something that makes you angry, your first instinct is probably to fight back. They shove you, so you shove them. They call you a name, blah, blah, blah. so you call them a worse name. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but fighting back that way, it's like, it's like feeding a fire. Have you ever watched somebody build a bonfire? The fire starts with little sticks for kindling. And if you don't add more sticks, the fire will just die out, right? But if you do add more sticks, and more sticks, and more sticks, you end up with a giant wildfire. Pushing or yelling back is like adding more fuel to a fire. The situation quickly gets worse uh, until it gets out of control and you both get hurt. But when you choose to control your words and actions, you show you have the true power of peace. The other person has nothing to fight back against. And eventually the fire has to die down. Now you should never let anybody bully you, but you can choose to tell someone in charge rather than trying to take on that bully yourself. You can also make peace by taking action. If you've had a fight or a friend or family member is not paying attention to you, go to them. Ask what's wrong and, th and then really listen. Is everything okay? Yeah. No, I don't know. You don't have to agree with them, but you can still make a way to restore the relationship. Now, not everybody will listen when you try to make peace. Some people will just stay mad, but you can still have peace inside as long as you've done everything that you can. Let's take one last look at our verse. If possible, live in peace with everyone. Do that as much as you can. After all, peace is not our idea, but God's. It's a gift that comes when we walk in step with Jesus and listen to God's spirit. The end. So, yeah, when I argue, it kind of goes forest fire. It's way too easy to just say the first thing that pops into my head. Yeah, choosing not to fight back is tough. For reals. So, what's our part in the story? Well, peace is never easy. 
but it's much harder without Jesus. When you choose to follow Jesus, you can have peace with God, no matter who you are or what you've done. God sends the Holy Spirit to live within you, and God's Spirit helps good things to take root in your heart. Things like peace. Exactly. But making peace is still hard. Peace is a choice you have to make each day. Like if your uh, little sister is sure it's her turn to pick the movie when you know it's yours. It's no big deal. Stop before it turns into a shouting match. Let her choose. Or ask your mom to decide. Or if one of your friends is making you mad, don't react right away. Take a deep breath. Then choose to really listen before you do any talking. I think you got it. Peace. See you next time. So, here's the thing. Make peace whenever you can. You know what? I don't think we should call these battle butts. Oh, I think we should call them brew butts. That's terrible. Or maybe awesome. Thanks for joining us in the Story Lab. See you next time. See you next time. Ready for a rematch? Yeah. I think we deserve it. Let's do, do it. it. Okay. Ready? Three, two, two one. one. Battle! Come on. Oh. Ah, you want to beat it? No, no. Okay, fine. That's fine. Come on, get him. Come on, Frederick Stein. You got this. Get right behind him. You're so close. Now they're just hugging. Get, get, get him, Tuppy.